At Helping Hand, we realize that food is the universal language that everyone speaks. Our students learn so many functional skills from being in the kitchen and cooking food. It allows them an independence in their home to be able to feed themselves. They can learn safety and knife skills. And we use the kitchen to teach all these skills. It's such an important part of our programming. After high school, our students move into our transition program where they hone in more on these independence living skills such as cooking and meal preparation skills. Or hey, Christopher, what do you want to be? Can you tell the camera what do you want to be when you're older? I want to, I want to be a chef. Haha. <laughs> The Independent Living Program, we cover a lot of different topics, so self-care, employment, health and wellness, and we're just teaching skills uh, so they can become more independent at home and reach their goals that they have set for themselves. Teaching skills that are obviously necessary to feed themselves, to have fun, is great that we see them carrying over the skills that they're learning in our program. We started the Transition Cafe so students could get the chance to work on their vocational skills. Students start their shifts, um, they have a routine of clocking in, they get their aprons, they get their name tags, and then they check to see what orders they have to do for the day. It's just been really great to have our students get involved with the cafe so they can work on their problem solving skills. So during their shifts we have them work on things like what do we do if something spills or what do we do if we can't find an ingredient and then just their social and communication skills too. My name is Erin and my son Emmett receives therapy here at Helping Hand and we're thrilled to be here after a long journey in feeding therapy. He was born premature and so after he was born he immediately needed oxygen and he also needed support with nutrition. That's where we realized we needed some more support with feeding therapy. And we came here to Helping Hand hoping that we could get Emmett onto the next stage of feeding. Emmett currently attends Helping Hand once a week and during that time it's really important that he sees how people are together socially and how we sit together and how we share food. One of Emmett's recent huge accomplishments was at school. They made something called fairy bread. When he came home he got the bread out and butter and sprinkles and was so excited to share what this fairy bread was. What are these colorful things over here? Sprinkles. These may seem like small steps to all of us, but they're very important for Emmett. Emmett, what are you doing? I'm eating. Can you imagine never going out to dinner or a meal with your family for nine years? So we had a client in the outpatient clinic who uh, was a young boy who had a diagnosis of autism. And when he started feeding therapy, his family had never been able to go out to a restaurant. Once they started feeding therapy at Helping Hand and mom was very involved in the sessions and they started learning how to come together and how to connect with their son through the experience of food and meal times. And for the first time in nine years, this young boy and his family were able to go um, out to dinner as a family. And for some of us that might seem um, like something we do regularly, but for this family, that was everything for them to be able to um, share in something that most of us take for granted. So it was really impactful to get to watch that. 